Hi, with Jet Admin you can build customer portals incredibly fast. Portals created in Jet already have built-in authentication and data security mechanisms in place, as well as granular access control that allows you to manage accessibility and secure your data. You can set precisely what parts of your data a given user or a team can access. There are literally no limitations in terms of the use cases you can implement in Jet. Viewing reports, onboarding users, apps for field agents, all of that and more can be built using Jet's customization mode. Let's build together a portal for delivery agents where they can see orders, customer data, and change the order's status. And each agent sees the data only for the orders that have been assigned to them. First, we need to connect our data. Go to the Data tab and select the resource. In our example is Google Sheets as we store all of the collections there, but you can connect pretty much any resource you like. Then authorize Jet in Google and select what tables you'd like to import. In our case, it's customers, orders, and statuses. Now let's return to our page and get to the building. We'll need three components, a table with orders, customer details, a table with statuses, and a button. We can find these components on the right. First, we drag and drop the containers to set the layout, then the table component, and select our sheets and the orders collection. The next step would be to customize our table. For that, go to the columns section where you can hide, rearrange, and change the type of the columns. Next, we want to add customer details. Drag and drop the detail component, select collection and set the input ID to be matching the customer ID from the click row of the orders collection. That way the relation has been established. And then customize it as we did before. Then drag and drop a new table, set the resource and choose the statuses collection. Once again specify the input and filter it by the order ID. And the button. It will create a new record in the statuses collection. Same logic here, set the order ID input to match the ID field from the selected row of the orders table. For the status input, set it to delivered, and for the date, set it to be received from the agent. Now the last thing that's left before you can welcome your first customers is to set authorization and access rights. For that, go to the settings page and select the customer portal case, then scroll down to the customer authorization section. Here you have two options, either invite new users manually by inserting their email addresses, choosing the team and pressing the invite button. Or you can provide your users with a custom invitation link. For that, select the public sign up option and choose the team. A user that has signed up through that link will be automatically assigned to the team you've selected. You can as well enable SSO to handle authorization in your website or app. To manage the teams, just go to the teams page. Here you can create new teams, delete and add new members to the team and manage permissions. The way you separate the data for different teams is by setting up team property that's unique for each team. For example, you can use a company domain or company ID for that purpose. The same logic applies if you want to separate data for individual users. Just go to the users page instead. In our example, all the collections we've used have the agent ID field that's unique to each agent, so we'll use it as our user property. The last step is to filter all the interface by that property so that every agent sees data only for the orders which have been assigned to them. If you'd like to do all that on your backend, you can use our API. We described our API in the documentation and you can access it by clicking learn more in the settings page. To start building your portal for free, check the description in the video. Thanks.